she's a lot of fun to have a conversation with. <laughs> Do you imagine having a conversation with that lady? The <laughs> fairy. The, the one that has the it fairy on the back of her truck in huge letters. I'll bet you she's very enjoyable to talk to. Welcome to my hut. What can I get for you? We're in the forest at Lake Tahoe. Hey. We're foresting. Foresting. We're foresting in Tahoe. And uh, we're getting Jacks used to wearing goggles for Burning Man. Look how sweet you look, dude. So tomorrow, we're gonna be on our way to Burning Man. It's the first time we've ever done Burning Man and we're going with Jacks. And a lot of people have said that we're crazy for taking a toddler, but we're going to try. <laughs> and we're a little scared, aren't we? But Jax doesn't know. He doesn't know yet. He doesn't know to be scared. Oh, dude. You think it's rad. We're going to Burning Man. You're just going to sport your goggles the whole time, aren't you? Yeah. Because <laughs> your goggles are sweet. Yeah, we're getting him used to wearing those because I guess at Burning Man there's like... Dust storms. Crazy dust storms and dust storms and apparently it's really hot in the day and really cold at night. So basically it's just everything that sucks. Yeah. <laughs> I mean That's I like okay. being outside, but I like being outside like in the mountains. I like don't care this. about the desert. Yeah. Desert sounds like I don't know. It's hot and stinky and And hippies. Hippies everywhere. everywhere. Um, no offense to hippies. We have friends who are hippies, but you know. It just sounds like a giant, giant hippie convention where everyone's stinky. <laughs> <laughs> Jax is going to love it, though. Hey, everybody. So here's an update. Um, still in Lake Tahoe. Uh, I just found a gym to do some legs. If you want to know what my face looks like with absolutely no makeup on, this is it. Except for I have eyelash extensions. We're supposed to pick up Tara, um, our friend that we did a Cirque du Soleil show with. We're supposed to pick her up from the airport today and her flight is delayed, which means we'll be driving into the desert. I don't know what time we'll get there, like midnight. <laughs> and there's no cell service out there. So hopefully we don't get lost. Um, right now, Tice and Jax are at the beach. <laughs> we just went kayaking. Are you having fun? In the lake. It's okay, you can jump in with your shoes on. Hi. Hey. My speedo. We went kayaking in my speedo. <laughs> this is a good place to nap. <laughs> oh, <hello. laughs> Kawa. Kawa. Bang. Kawa. Bang. Roll over. Oh. Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> See, she does Smart tricks kitty. just like she a dog. Treat. All right, come here. Who is it, Jax? Is it Tara? Who is that? <laughs> We're about to drive out in the middle of nowhere! It's pretty mad! <laughs> so now we're at Walmart, and the Walmart is crazy. It's like, it's like people think the end of the world is happening, but it really is just all the Burning Man people coming here to get food and all the stuff. And <gasps> I know that's actually not as much as I was <laughs> expecting it to be. Yeah, that'll be okay. Okay. Look at all our stuff. <laughs> we are legit like freaking rednecks right now. Yeah. Pulled up and she said, Are you going to Burning Man? And I said, Why, yes, I am going to Burning Man. And she says, I want to give you something. She gave me these rocks that she painted. She said she paints rocks. So she gave them to me. <laughs> I don't know what any of it is. Freaking burning man. Look That's at this. It. Look at this. I can smell the weed. I can smell it. I can see. Look at the. Look, I see naked people already. <laughs> look at this. There's nudity and weed everywhere. <laughs> we hear there's a lot of drugs and things that go on down here. 
times of Burning Man, take off all your clothes. <laughs> Dust gets all up in your holes. <laughs> the hippies, they say it's quite nice. <laughs> they say don't mind no dust in my holes. Please, hippies don't have hillbilly accents. I know this, dear. <laughs> I'm the hillbilly coming to Burning Man. I'm going to show all these hipsters how to be a real man, how to gut a deer. <laughs> Cook a pig. I'm gonna show you how to roast a pig. Roast it over a pit. <laughs> a pit of lava. <laughs> They're all freaking like happy. Open. No. Oh, damn it. They're way too happy. It's way too late or early. How do I bypass them? We have to look at the door. Like, check the door out. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Hi. Today is Tuesday. Burning Man started on the 25th. Today is the 27th. Um, so yeah, we came a couple days late and there's still a really long line. The show that we're performing with here at Burning Man um, set up this like pod thing for us. Uh, right now it's pretty hot outside. Jacks. Here is the big wooden man. That is the burning man. Jax, you're Jax, a burner. How's your first experience at Burning Man? Look at this big burning man. They're gonna burn it. It's pretty cool, huh, dude? <laughs> burning man! Today is day two at Burning Man. Mr. Jax, so far, I think is having a good time. Jax, are you loving it, dude? <laughs> We're just trying to make sure he drinks a lot. Tara. <laughs> but uh, so far, Jax is fine. First night, he's like, oh, okay, we live here now, cool. Um, last night, he saw some of the lights and he started just running around in circles because he was so excited about it. <laughs> It's pretty sweet. We were skeptical, but it's pretty sweet. Here is a giant sculpture of a face. Whoa, Jax, whoa. That's cool. You better grow up to be an artist. Yeah, dude. We're filling your brain full of creativity. So when you grow up, you should do something rad. Whoa. Oh, it's like a little, it's a library in there. It's a library. Jax, what is that? It's a head. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. Definitely have to take photos. Whoa, Jax, it's a castle. Two, three. Mm -hmm. oh. Kick. <laughs> and dusty right now. Yes. So we're trying to ride. Oh, I see naked people. It's day three. Day three of Burning Man. How do you feel? Hot. Never do Burning Man if you don't have an air conditioned something. Luckily we do. But if we didn't have air conditioning, I think we would leave. Yes, I agree with the air conditioning. Definitely need air conditioning. Um, I think I would die if I didn't have air conditioning just to have a break. Um, it feels like during the day at Burning Man that you're in Mars, and then at night it feels like you're in just a total different planet. It's awesome actually though. It's a very strange place, but it's cool. Uh, for sure, goggles is a must, for sure. And I totally understand 
why people are just naked. I mean, we're not going around naked, but like I've just been wearing a swimming suit because it's so hot. Ty's just in his little man shorts. And I always have this bandana, not even for the dust, but just like so my face doesn't get toasted. So I just ride around like this. Just riding in the desert. There's like nothing. Good. Okay, little kitties, jump in. Jump in. Yay. Jump in. Yay. We're gonna go see all the lights. Yeah. Lights. See lights. See the lights. See the lights. Stars. As you can see, we're just a mess. describe Burning Man is the first three days is like amazing you see stuff you've never seen before and you just can't stop wondering how in the world all this is even happening we've been here for four days yeah four days is plenty so if you get a Burning Man ticket and you can only you can only make it for half the time it's still way worth it there's a lot we didn't see that's actually true we didn't see everything but like you just kind of get exhausted after a while trying to figure out what else to go find. It was definitely worth the trip. Very cool place. Now we're just We're getting to... out before the big line. <laughs> before the nine hour out. wait. <laughs> but I don't even know, like, where is the get out? <laughs> Hi guys, so we're home from Burning Man now. We survived. We're alive. Um, we just wanted to make a video about our opinion of Burning Man. So, you know, we have a completely unbiased opinion. We went into it thinking maybe we're going to hate it or maybe we'll like it. Um, and we took our three-year-old, as most of you know. We almost 
didn't take him because we were worried about him being out in the sun all day, um, having enough food because you had to pack everything in. You can't buy food or drinks at Burning Man. When you have a toddler, you know, he needs like his chocolate milk and his juice and all that. So we were worried about having all the supplies. So we were, we were pretty lucky because we were a part of a camp where they fed us mm -hmm. breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and it was like good food. It, it was good food. It was a real it wasn't, chef. It wasn't just like PB and J's and, and stuff. Yeah. So basically the takeaway is if you're going to do Burning Man, you, you probably could do Burning Man not bringing any food or water. You probably could do it because every camp all around they all like have stuff whether it's like food water snow cones ice cream like just a bunch of random stuff but i definitely would not rely on that pack in water lots of water pack in food but it i mean all in all it was a great time like it was just really cool everybody's just there to like love and and have a good time and so it was cool it was frightening to bring jacks at first but when, once you get there you realize like it's so safe there it's not dangerous it's not scary yeah. there's actually a lot of kids there there's a kid area yeah there was a whole do. like kid area like with trampolines and like putt putt golf and like all kinds of stuff mm -hmm. we were worried about being stuck in the traffic getting in to the burning man city because there's only a two lane highway with like 70,000 people going in. So we went a day late um, because we wanted to miss that traffic. We still had to wait like three hours to get in. So just imagine what the traffic's like on like the busy times that people are getting there. And we left um, the day, was it the day before they did the burn? Or the yeah. morning of? We, we left we, Saturday yeah, morning. We left before they burned the man. But that was also because we just had to get back home for other jobs that we were doing. So we missed the traffic coming out of Burning Man, which I've heard can be like nine hours you're sitting before you even get out of the gate. So that's intense. Driving in, we saw cops everywhere pulling people over. Yeah, don't bring drugs. Don't bring drugs to Burning Man. Don't bring drugs to Burning Man because they are like, the cops are everywhere. They're like seriously cracking down on that. We got pulled over. I was speeding. So the cop pulled me over and he, there was like the main cop and then there was like three drug busting cops. Yeah. And they had dogs and everything. And so. they were like grilling me big time. So like they were hoping that. so bad that I had drugs <laughs> because they were right ready to like rip me out of the car and put me in cuffs and take me away. So like, don't bring drugs to I know there's man. a lot of people if you're gonna drugs, do but... drugs if you're gonna do drugs there i guess just have your friends bring them <laughs> because the cops are like for real just like pulling people over left and right our camp had a bathroom which was amazing because a lot of the camps don't have bathrooms so you all have to take turns using the porta potties our camp had a bathroom so we were doing a show at burning man and the producer organized like our, where we were staying, we had an air conditioned pod, which when you look at it, it didn't look very glamorous at all, but just having that air conditioning, it was like the best thing ever. Yeah, you gotta have yeah. something like that because it's so hot there and there's no way to es escape the heat because it does cool down at night, but still it's not that, it never got that cold at night, like at all. Yeah, not while we were there. I've heard so it, it can get it cold. It can get but... cold. You're definitely going to want to bring something that is like some form of air conditioning. Yeah. Because it's hot, it's hot and it stays hot. And I packed all these clothes and then I realized that yeah. I didn't need any of them. <laughs> just bring just bring one jacket and one pair of pants. It was so hot that we were just in our swimming suits or yeah. underwear. We waited till the last minute to go buy our goggles and our hat which was a mistake so don't do that if you're going to burning man because we're like oh yeah. we'll just go to the walmart in reno well we went to yep. the walmart in reno don't go to the walmart everyone in reno. was there they didn't have any hats they didn't have any goggles so we had to stop at this little like hippie you know the hippies have this like final stop before you get to burning man where they sell things before you go in the gate and it's probably i don't know how many miles away but it's 
still quite a ways You're from You're still the gate. at least an hour and a yeah. half out. But we saw it and we stopped and we ended up spending like 150 bucks on hats and goggles. Order your goggles off Amazon yeah. and don't shop at the Walmart in Reno the night before. That's what we yeah. did. It was a mistake. And uh, Everything's gone anyways. Like they're out of stock of anything you would want. Mm -hmm. So make sure you get it beforehand. And then uh, our camp had a shower, but there was always a line. So we didn't shower for, for like five days. Uh, us and Tara and like we didn't shower at all. And yep. we also- From Monday <laughs> to Saturday- We didn't shower. There was zero showering. So- But we did take isopropyl alcohol baths. Yeah, we brought a ton of baby wipes for this reason. Um, Baby and white baths. You know the super the, awesome. The three of us and Jax were in our little pod, and we couldn't smell each other. So I'm like, I think we stink really bad, and we just don't know because we're used to it. And our sweaty butts yeah, all our freaking butts. day, no showering in the hot sun with our sitting on the bike seats. Imagine <laughs> the smell of those bike seats. Yeah, and then a lot of people were like, "Oh, are you worried about Jax seeing naked people?" And, like, honestly, nudity to me is not He's three. a huge deal. He's three years old. It would, be, it would be a big deal if they were doing, like, inappropriate things yeah. in front of him. But they weren't. They were just people. That never happened. Nudity. At least, like, we never saw anybody doing, like, really inappropriate stuff. Like, and, there are naked people. And it's it's almost not weird because it's not sexual at all. They're just, like, they're just naked. They're just naked. <laughs> So I know that's still offensive to a lot of people. Um, there are areas you can go if you want to see weird, kinky things. We didn't see it because we didn't want to take jacks, but we did drive past the Orgy Dome. Hmm. There's a place called the Orgy Dome. Hmm. <laughs> you have to be 18 to get into it. We didn't go, but we saw it, so it's there. Um, anything's there. Anything's there. It's like It's like being in a city. It's no different than being in your hometown. Like anything you want in your hometown, it's there. At Burning Man, same thing. There's 75,000 people there. Like, you could... Anything you want, it's there. Yeah, if you don't if there. you don't want to see weird stuff, you don't really need to. Like, just, like, stay in your camp and, and look at your... There's, like, a little booklet that they give you. And in the booklet, it tells you where everything is. So, read the book and then go... Don't go to the places you don't want to go to. Yeah, we actually ended up enjoying ourselves it's there fun. because there's so many creative things to see it's, it's incredible like how they get the stuff into the burning man area like how they get it all there is mind-blowing and the art and the the big like cars they have these cars that are like floats with all this stuff on it like i don't understand how they're getting this stuff there because when you drive out to get to the black rock desert it's a w one lane this way and one lane this way, like tiny road. So I am just blown away with how they're even getting stuff out there. And from the night to the day, it's a totally different experience. At nighttime, mm -hmm. you feel like you're in this like galaxy planet, all these crazy lights and neon everything and everyone's bikes are all decked out with lights and then during yeah. the day, it's like you're in like a Star Wars or like Mad Max movie. It's totally, it's totally crazy. Um, we took Jackson. He had a little friend. There's this four year old girl that is the daughter of the producer of our show. So he had a friend. We took them out um, a lot in the day. They had a lot of fun. And then we took them out at night too. So if you do that, if you take a toddler out at night at Burning Man, oh, yeah. just make sure you watch them. Make um, sure you put a leash. You should put a leash on, on them because I was super paranoid about losing them. You if they get lost, very a, easily lose a child. Out yeah, there. so very easily put a leash on the kid. Put a light on the kid. You should put like a little bracelet that says where their camp is. Yeah, because it you would could, be really scary at nighttime. You could definitely lose your kid. That's super scary, yeah. actually. It's fun. It's safe. It's not dangerous. Like. It's not It's not a drug festival. It's really not. Like, I know everybody thinks it's, like, a big drug festival. And, like, that stuff definitely goes on. But it's not. It's not, like, what you think it is. It's just a really cool environment. And you see amazing things that you would never see, like, in normal life. So it's definitely worth... 
if you get the opportunity to go, you should do it because it was sweet. We were super skeptical and we didn't think it was going to be that great, but it was actually really freaking cool. And Jax loved it too. He did.